So outliers happen in every business and you, what you hear are the stories of Susie selling her business for $30 million when most businesses are going for 10. There are only two reasons that that happens and I'm gonna explain them right now. Number one, Susie has some sort of technology or product or market segment that someone needs and they can't get unless they buy Susie's business. And then all of the traditional sort of business valuation metrics are thrown out the window and you, what you figure out is what can that buyer do with that asset and that's how they value the business. So sometimes these outliers happen. There are 10% or fewer of the transactions land up in an outlier, but it does happen. The second reason that outliers happen is that for some reason out there, they need Susie. They actually need Susie herself, that she brings something to the table that's so amazing that it takes it outside of a traditional business valuation and brings a whole lot more, uh, uh, more value out of it. The third reason, and I'm gonna just say that this is a potential, is Susie's not telling you the truth. A lot of times what happens is people sell for 30 million, but they only got 8 million up front. And really it's a $22 million earn out over the next five years. And Susie has to actually grow her business at 50% a year to get there, which means it's still a three to seven times earnings multiple business. So it could sound great on the front end and sounds great at the cocktail party, but Susie might not be telling you the whole truth. So when you're thinking about this, just remember there are some ways that outliers happen but very few. For the most part, businesses are gonna trade between three and seven times earnings. Those outliers are either a special set of technology, a special set of individuals and talent, or you might not know all the facts of the entire deal. So don't get yourself intimidated. Don't blow up expectations one direction or another because of the outliers. Keep focused on your business, how to drive safety into it, predictability into it, and drive the value up.